Hi Church, hope all is good. My name is Andy. I lead our protective services teams across all of our campuses and locations and um, I'm honoured to, to share with you today. A few months ago, I was privileged to join a mission trip from church to Rwanda. Uh, it was a life-changing experience. Um, we, it was incredible to see how, how God was changing a nation um, after its recent difficult history. Um, we really did witness how God was moving in, in villages uh, that we visited, um, particularly with the power of forgiveness, um, getting communities to come back together again, forgive each other for the atrocities that have happened in the country before. And um, it, it really blew your mind, in all honesty. One of the tasks, um, or one of the, the things we did uh, while we were out there, was we did some visiting. We visited members of the, the church in the village that we went to, um, and we took them some some gifts and some food. And um, it was just great to go into houses and, and see people. One of the people I visited was a, a lady. Um, her husband was out working, and she got a couple of kids. Um, and we just sat in her lounge and she was really touched that we were there with her and talking to her and interested in her uh, and what God was doing through her lives and what she does in church. Um, but before we left, um, we asked if we could pray for her. Uh, we asked her what she wanted prayer for and she asked for prayer in, in three areas which we prayed for with her before we left. Physical healing in herself and physical healing in her husband. Uh, there were both significant issues that they had hampered them for a number of years, particularly in her husband who um, had a, a really bad back and, and was really struggling to work and support the family. Uh, we also prayed for financial provision to enable some urgent repairs to, to the roof of her house, um, which was providing problematic. As we came to leave Rwanda a few days later, the church put on a, a bit of a party uh, with the members of the church and this, this lady was, was there uh, and she came over to us um, quite emotional and thanked us for our prayer. Um, she explained that both her and her husband had been healed that night. Um, her husband came home from work, in fact, um, fit as a fiddle, uh, in complete shock at what had happened and it wasn't until she told him that we prayed for him that day and for healing that the penny dropped as to what had actually happened. Um, somebody also put uh, just enough money under their door to fix their roof that night as well. So God had answered all three prayers that uh, we, we prayed for, which was absolutely awesome and really good to hear. However, it, it, it challenged me quite a lot. Um, I have faith that God can change things but in my day-to-day -day life I don't tend to see those sort of miracles happen. Um, Galatians 2 verse 20 says that the power of Christ lives in us. It's something that I've known and part of my my faith but when challenged do I actually really believe it? Do I have the utmost belief that that is in me, I'm, I'm not sure sometimes I, I do. Um, what if I did, what happened? What if I actually believe that his power lives in me and, and I really lived my life in, in that way with that mindset in, in all I do and all I pray. A mission trip provides us with a focus and a stage for God to move. You, you, you go into these villages, you go into these homes and the situations that you're, you're putting on a missions trip um, with that mindset, it, it, the focus is oh, God's in me and I'm here to make a difference. But do we do that in, in our day-to-day -day lives? Are we, are we missing something when we don't recognise that actually that same stage exists in the mission of our day-to-day -day lives, in our workplace, in our church, in our families? I want to encourage you not to just pray that God is with you in a situation even though sometimes that is the only thing that you, you can pray in the desperate situation that you might be in. But actually recognise that God is in you and pray for him to reveal to you what he is doing in you and show him what he can do through you in, in everyday life. 
on a mission it's dead easy you, particularly when you go to somewhere like Rwanda you you see the need you see um you see things that you feel need prayer for an action and we we go and we went and did up houses and put water supplies in and but once you meet the people you realize that they were living a life filled with belief in some of the situations they're in they they really had to believe in it to keep their mind going and to keep faith going um, but also to keep their focus on god how different would those things look in your life if you believed that christ was living in you and and he was using you in that situation as opposed to just just praying that he's there i think the focus is is quite important and and will change how things are perceived in your head and how um how you view things god i just pray that in your life you you see what god has in store for you you see how god is working through you and the plans he has over you so that you can make a change Thank you so much for listening. I hope to see you at church on Sunday. Thank you.